yeah, it's so good to see you again so five nice years ago. To see remember? You in your basement. Yeah, oh that was God. handsome. Yeah. <laughs> what a place. Yeah, yeah. It's like thank a you, treasure trove. It was a pleasure to have you. Yes, thank you. Um, so, please, first, could you tell us the first feeling you had when you met Michael for the first time? Well, what? of course, I was excited and I was. Uh, I was surprised because I didn't know that he was going to be in the studio when I walked in. And the beautiful part was when I walked in the studio, it was only Quincy Jones, Bruce Sweden, and Michael Jackson. And I was just floored. But of course, I had to remain very, very cool. I didn't want to be like total fangirl geek out. So um, I was very calm. and. Um, talk to him like he was ordering lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, I think he appreciated that about yeah. me. But he was nice with you because everybody said when they met him, he's not like a superstar, but he's like a normal guy. Very down to earth. Very yeah. attentive with yes. your feeling. Or, yes. Yeah. That's Sweetheart. He really was. He was. Okay. You used to do uh, the dangerous tour with Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael was very shy. Everybody says that. Mm -hmm. So maybe shy with the woman also. And I always wondering something. You remember at the end of working the night? <laughs> could you explain me that? I, I always wonder. Oh, did it, oh, did it came out? Where did you get that? That's so great. You remember? So I remember. I, I exactly. was just wondering. He was doing it for each uh, date of concert no. or just for once? No, he, this was the first time he did that. The first and only time he did ah. that. And it was so shocking to me. I didn't know if I was supposed to react or, or yeah, because freeze. The video, I, you, you... I didn't know what to do, so I, just, I was just like, oh my God, that has never happened before. And it never happened again, because he knew I was going to get him. If he put himself in the position for me to, 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 to do something to him, like he did to me, then I would have done yeah. it. But he uh, make sure, made sure he was um, at least three or four feet away from me. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, you, stage so that I couldn't do anything. You never retold about that after? No, okay. No. Okay. No. What would you like the public remember about Michael? I would like the public to remember that Michael was a very sensitive man and a genius artistically. He was absolutely brilliant at what he did. He knew how to market Michael better than anyone on earth. He knew uh, that the key to staying relative for five decades was reinvention. He would reinvent himself every record. He would, uh, towards the end, every song had a theme and, and, and a, a reason to be on the record. It just wasn't like a, 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 you know, a, a, a dance record or, or something that didn't really mean anything. Everything that was on his last few albums had was theatrical and creative and inspirational and um, timely and futuristic. Yeah. So he, he was really a master of, of marketing Michael and, and what Michael could bring to the world and how to get it out into the world in the best possible way. Yeah, and it will stay forever, forever in the memories. Forever. I'm sure of that. Okay, many thanks for thank this little interview. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bye bye, say bye bye to the fans. Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir mon chéri. <laughs>